I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Thomas, who wants to know what I make of the rather exciting and potential discovery of life on Venus. Now, if you've been following this story, you'll know that back in September, scientists produced uh, evidence that there might be large quantities of phosphine gas, which would suggest the existence of some form of organic life in the atmosphere of Venus. Before you get too excited, we're, we're not talking about glittering alien citadels hovering in the Venusian atmosphere, but something more along the idea of, of simple microbial organisms. Nevertheless, it's all very exciting, particularly uh, to me, uh, someone who both loved to study the stars and, of course, uh, dabbled in writing about these things. Uh, if you'll recall my own story in the walls of Eryx, uh, explore just what the surface of Venus might look like. Now, you might be wondering why it took so long for me to answer this question, and the truth is I wanted to wait and see just what the rest of the scientific community had to say about this potentially momentous discovery, and I'm glad I did, because there's been no small amount of controversy. People have not been able to validate these results. There are questions about whether the phosphine was indeed detected, or whether it were other gases that were giving off false signals, or even if the phosphine is there, whether there could not be other unexamined reasons. This is the wonder of science. It may seem so technical and, and not as exciting as, as the imagination that gets sparked by gazing up at the stars, but the truth is, this is what we need, this tension between imagination and wonder and the hard, rigorous science of actually sitting down to measure numbers, to look through graphs and really explore the data. This is how we know the universe, not just our, our myths and our, our fables, but actually measuring, understanding, getting a whole picture of the cosmos. And there's no one who better understands that rigorous cosmos as my good friend Carl Sagan. Carl, can, can you give us some of your thoughts on just what this means and whether the people are rushing to conclusions or if there's really something in this? Or what do you make of, of life on Venus? Well, I'm all for it. It's totally bitchin'. I'm sorry, did you just say... Bitchin. Yes. C could you maybe expound on this a little bit more? Of course. My apologies. Let me just take a moment to tabulate these numbers. Bleep, blop, blarp, up. There we go. The science confirms it. Alien life is sweet as hell. Pew, pew! Ha! <laughs> Blazers. Well, there you have it. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.